Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video. So in this one, we're gonna be talking about how to avoid getting sued on Shopify. So as somebody who's been dropshipping now for over three years, I know a thing or two about getting sued and the sorts of things you can do to protect yourself from lawsuits. So what kind of images you can use, where to source those images, what kind of products you can sell, because it was actually about six or seven months into my dropshipping journey in which I got contacted from a company um, threatening to sue me if I did didn't change the name of all my social media pages of my site, pretty much everything. So it was at that point then which I was forced to seek my own legal advice and basically just take the time to get myself clued up about the kind of images you can use um, when it comes to logos, when it comes to type of products and the sorts of things you can and can't actually get sued for. So in this video then I'm going to be addressing the three kind of most popular questions I get asked on this topic which are Number one, can you use AliExpress product images? Number two, can you sell trademarked items? And then number three, can you use copyrighted images? And if you can't, then where to actually source those images? So that's the top of the video then guys, thanks for tuning in. Before we jump into the first question, I just wanna quickly mention as always then in every single video, I am giving away a free one-to-one -one call with me. So chance then for me and you to have a chat one-on-one -on -one, and you can ask me whatever you want then about Shopify, dropshipping or Facebook ads so for example then the last winner me and him went through some products on aliexpress which was actually what gave me the idea for this video so if that is the kind of thing you want the chance to win it's dead easy to do all you have to do to enter is simply like comment and subscribe on this video and then tune into my next one which will be monday or tuesday where the winner will be announced and with that being said then guys let's get straight into question number one so question number one then can you get sued using the images the product images you find on aliexpress now before we jump into this, I just want to very quickly say I'm not a solicitor, I'm not a lawyer, so if there's anything you're unsure of, then I recommend speaking to a professional or at least doing your own research on Google. Um, back when somebody threatened me, I was able to find out some pretty decent information online, but then just to double back that up, then I found a couple of companies that were willing to do free consultations um, or free initial consultations over the phone for about 10, 15 minutes, and it turned out that was all I needed to basically tell this woman to go away. Anyway, that's another story for another video. Maybe if you want more details on that, then leave a comment down below and I can do a video specifically on that one story. Anyway, when it comes to using the images from AliExpress, then you, you do have to be careful in certain situations. So when most people think of China, they know it's the place where you can get a pretty much knock off anything. When I went, there was markets that were literally miles long selling knock off Rolex watches watches, knockoff tag hers, they were selling knockoff um, Yeezys, just pretty much anything fake you can pretty much source from China. So their trademarking laws, their copyright laws, they're not as strict as they are in the Western world. So when it comes to using their images, then you do have to be careful sometimes because they may have just, rather than taking their own images, they may have gone onto Instagram or Facebook and taken another company's. So to give you an example, then let's jump into my computer. And I just wanna show you this product here then, which is this camera mug. As you can see, there's no brand names. There's nothing like that. The images are pretty generic. They don't have any faces in. So when it comes to using product images like this, just generic ones then with a white background, then you're going to be absolutely fine. However, to give you an example then of one where you have to be careful, if you're in the fashion niche or if you're selling any product, that features a model showing their face like this, for example, then you have to be careful because you don't know where they have sourced that image from. So one thing you can do then is if you open up the product page, um, save the image or take a screenshot of it, then head over to Google image search. You can actually use Google to search the internet for images, which is what I did for this product here. And these are the results here. As you can see, there's some very similar ones. There's the exact one there. But then if we scroll down, look at all the different pages which are using this exact exact same image. So you have to be careful here because, because you don't know who owns the rights to that image. The last thing you want to do is make 100K off a particular product using somebody else's image for them to pursue you lawfully. And if it can be proven that you've made that 100K using one of their images, then you can be entitled to have to repay that money. So just be very careful. If you're unsure after all of this, then make sure you contact the supplier and say, where did you source your images from? Anyway, with that being said then guys, let's move into question number two, which is can you sell trademarked items? The answer to this question is quick and simple, which is a flat no. 
or you can, but again, if you get found out, any money you made through selling these trademarked items, you can be liable to repay. Plus, if Facebook find out, they will shut your ad account down straight away and you might have difficulties trying to open a new one. So what are exactly then trademarked items? Let's jump into my computer again and just show you. So anything that comes with a brand or logo or anything like that on. So for example, a good one is Harry Potter because there's so many different Harry Potter items on AliExpress. So for example, if we just have a flick through, there's just hundreds and hundreds. So if you get caught selling any of these items without the required license, then you could be liable to pay some significant amount of money. If you're ever unsure whether a particular brand is trademarked, one thing you can do then is head over to the gov.uk website where you can search for certain trademarks. You can put in a certain image, so let's just show you the process from the beginning. So we can search for trademark, we've got words, we've got trademarked words, we've got classifications, but if we just put Harry Potter in here, hit enter, it might take a while because there's quite a few different trademarks to search. And by the way, this will just be for the UK. If you want to sell within a different country, then obviously you'll have to check the trademarks in that country. But if we just have a look through here, we can see there's a trademark here for anything with the marked text of Harry Potter, the same registered Harry Potter, um, and we can keep going through Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix. So trying to sell any products in relation to this, this one is actually a logo itself, which we saw if we go back to AliExpress, we can see there were certain products with the actual Harry Potter logo on. So if you get caught and found out selling any of these products with that marked text or that logo, then again, you can be susceptible to some kind of lawsuit. And with that being said then guys, let's move on to the third and final question, which is, how do you avoid using copyrighted images so you're not liable to some kind of lawsuit and you don't have to risk getting sued? So if you go into Google then, for example, like this, and we just put in golf, uh, we can go to images, then some of these will be copyrighted and if you get caught using them, you may have somebody send you a letter saying you owe us $10,000 or whatever it is. Believe it or not, there are actually companies that do that for a full-time living. They'll go out there and they'll take hundreds and thousands of different stock images, put, load them all onto the internet, and then basically just on a daily basis, try and catch people out using them and then send them letters. I've seen it before in Facebook groups, you might have seen it yourself. So you have to make sure that the images you're using on your site uh, copyrighted and there's a couple of ways you can do that number one is you can use Shopify's own service themselves it's called burst.myshop burst.shopify.com and as you can see all the images on here are free to use but they're also free for commercial use which is the key thing here because there are two different laws one which is for personal use which is fine but then if you are using them for a commercial purpose then that is a different trademark law so whatever images you use you have to make sure that they're free um, and okay for commercial use as well so to do this using google then one thing you can do is if you go back to the main Google search, go to settings on the bottom right here, go to advanced search. We can put golf in here now again, but what we're gonna do here is in the usage rights, is just make sure we've got free to use, share or modify and put even commercially as well. Click advanced search, go to images, and now all of these images here will be absolutely fine to use. And with that being said then guys, I just wanna end the video again by saying I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a solicitor, so if you are unsure about anything, then please do make sure you seek your own legal advice. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for tuning in. The support on the channel has been absolutely awesome. What I'm gonna do is when we reach 10,000 subs is do some kind of meetup in London. Um, so please do make sure you subscribe. Um, please make sure you keep watching my videos. And last but not least then, let's get into announcing the winner of the previous video for that one-to-one -one call. So this is the previous video then. If you haven't watched it yet, please do go and check it out. Um, eight interesting things to make sure you do before you start dropshipping. The feedback on it, to be honest, has actually been pretty good too. So please do make sure you go check that one out. There's something in there for everybody. Anyway, let's get into announcing the winner. So we'll take the URL, head over to the random comment picker. Just to reiterate, these competitions are 100% random. I do not pick the winners. Um, and the winner then of the previous video is Xperia Design. So thank you very much for your comment. Please do reach out on Instagram where we can get that call arranged. And guys, if you just wanna get straight out to business and book a call right away, you can do so. Make sure you check out the links in the description below. I do have an Ecom Academy as well, which has a 100% satisfaction rate. Absolutely zero people have wanted a refund. So if you do want a step-by-step -step system that's got really good results, please make sure you check that out too. Anyway, with that being said, thanks again for tuning in. 
listening. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.